Hey guys, what's up? I'm sorry. Welcome back to my beauty series. I wanted to do an episode on stuff that I buy at the grocery store that I use in my beauty routine. And mostly because it's all really inexpensive. Um, this is all stuff I've gotten at Whole Foods or here in Milwaukee we have something that's local kind of health food store called the Outpost. Um, so I got it either, either at Whole Foods or Outpost. They both have the same stuff. Um, but pretty much any natural food place, and I think even like bigger grocery stores should have all this stuff, except for maybe one item. But anyway, first thing that is indispensable in my beauty routine that I get at the grocery store is coconut oil. Now, I know coconut oil is being talked about for years now by everybody on the beauty blogs. I use it so far across my beauty routine, it's not even funny. Um, my number one use for it is in the shower. After I'm done soaping up, what I do is I turn off the shower, I lather, I put coconut oil all over my body, and then I just rinse off. That keeps me from ruining my clothes or my sheets with coconut oil, which I have done several times. Um, and it just allows me to have a nice moisturized sheen on my skin. Um, I love to do that right after I dry, I get into the, sh I dry brush before I get in the shower. We'll go over that in a second. Uh, but that's one of my favorite uses for coconut oil. I also put it in my hair. I put about, you know, like one scoop full, it's my hand, in my hair before I go into the ocean so it doesn't get too dried out and tangly. I also eat two tablespoons of it a day. Now this is an organic, uh, Expeller Press Virgin Coconut Oil that's unrefined. So make sure you're doing unrefined, make sure you're getting organic. Um, so I eat two tablespoons of this a day. Look it up on the internet, it has so many, it's supposed to speed up your metabolism. It's got um, lots of really good healthy things that I don't remember right now. But I like it because it makes me feel full. I have a sensitive stomach, so it makes my stomach feel so much stronger and I don't get like weird acid stomach. Um, but it's super duper good for you. I use it for cooking too. I do it with like my eggs and my kale and all that super, you know, healthy stuff. Um, but it's awesome. I also use it to take off eye makeup remover. If I don't have my makeup remover with me, I can use this to remove makeup. I also put it on my armpits as a deodorant because sometimes I forgot my deodorant, but I always have coconut oil. Um, so. And then also I use it heavier on my, I got sunburn when I was shooting in the Caribbean and it's been the only thing that really kind of gives my sunburn super duper relief and keeps me from peeling really bad. And I use it to shave all the areas of my body that need to be shaved, but we won't go into that because it's too much information. But this is a really good barrier for shaving and then also to put on after shaving. It's an antiseptic and um, a moisturizer. So obsessed with coconut oil could go on about it forever, but I won't bore you too much more. Now, the other thing I love for my skin is hydrogen peroxide. Now, this is just your typical, I was surprised they had it at Whole Foods because I thought it was more of a pharmacy thing, but they actually did have it. And what I do is I put this every day. Sorry, I'm looking for, gosh darn it. Ah, yeah. So I have the you know, little cotton pads. Ooh, that one's dirty because I use it to put my makeup on. That was gross, sorry guys. Uh, see, clean cotton pad. And I just take this, put like that much cotton, I mean that much hydrogen peroxide on it, and then just do it all over my face like a toner every day. And then I also do it just really quickly right here around, along my face on each side to just lighten the area around my face a little bit. Um, the thing I like about using hydrogen peroxide as a toner is that it really gets all the bacteria off my face. I've seen a tremendous uh, cutback in acne since I started doing it, and it just and blackheads. Um, it really makes me feel like my skin is clean, and it also makes my skin tone really even. And um, I like that it bleaches out my brows. I still dye them a little bit darker, and so there's like a nice medium, but. If you want to bleach out your brows, that's another way to do it. Or be aware if you start using it at a toner that it might bleach out your brows because it bleaches, bleaches mine out. So that's another thing. Um, I also use it as mouthwash gargle to whiten my teeth. So there's that. 
And then I also sometimes do it on my bikini line if I'm having ingrown hairs. It just helps keep bacteria out of the pores right after I shave. So I definitely use it on a cotton pad for that as well. It's an awesome toner. Now, I also get, of course, these are normal things. Just wanted to bring up the, you know, I'm crazy about um, aluminum-free antiperspirant, and you can really find it, sorry, not antiperspirant, deodorant, because I don't believe in antiperspirant, I only believe in deodorant. There's a Walita citrus deodorant that's a spray that smells super clean and fresh. Um, it's delicious. You can get Walita at the health food store. And then I like Tom's too, aluminum free. This is apricot, fresh apricot. They don't work to keep you from sweating, but they do work to keep you from stinking. Now that's my main priority. And the other thing that I just, is my favorite body exfoliator on earth is a dry brush. Now this came with a long wooden handle that I took off. I do the dry brush and I literally start at my toes and brush all the way up to my heart. Do each leg and then do my arms in, 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 towards my heart, do my belly, do my boobs, do my shoulders, and then do my back, all, everything towards your heart. So down, all this down, and then everything below your heart, up towards your heart. Um, it is the best cellulite fighter. It is the best skin exfoliator. It is the best everything. It just, apparently it just helps circulation, blood circulation. My skin looks younger. And it's kind of like the Lancer philosophy of like the polish where you're causing your skin to just wake up and come, you know, fresh cells to come to the surface to repair itself. So body dry brushing, I do it completely dry before I get into the shower. Um, you might want to buy a new, I try to buy a new brush every month because it, or like every couple months because it can get gross. Um, you don't want to be putting bacteria on your skin. Um, but yeah, these things rock. This one is natural Tampico fiber bristles I'm from Solana Beach, California. I found it in the health food store in California, um, but I've seen it at the outpost and the Whole Foods here. So dry brush, body brush is the bomb. And then the final thing that I'm really obsessed with right now is I found this orange blossom water. Now this is al wadi al akard. It's in the like ethnic section, um, usually near like the Mexican, Thai, and Japanese spices, they have this guy. This is a product of Lebanon. And the, the ingredients are just water, concentrated orange blossom water, and natural orange blossom flavor. Now, I use this as a fragrance. I put it, I got this at Blick Art Supply, just, but you can get it anywhere at the pharmacy. Just a nice spray bottle. And I spray myself with it all the time, and it's delicious. And this big bottle, cost about five dollars so i spray this on my linens i spray it on my towels i spray it on my hair when it gets stinky because i don't wash it every day i spray it in my closet on my clothes it smells so freaking good um it's i found out about it because my favorite place to have breakfast in la put it on the berries and i was like what is that delicious flavor on the berries in your granola and it turned out that it was orange blossom water and then i got it and tried it on the berries, but I haven't quite figured out. Maybe I need to spritz them. But then I was like, this smells like Koki Koki, my favorite hotel in Tulum, which is orange blossom based. So I was like, I'm just going to start using this for the house. And it's freaking awesome. So if you want a delicious, fresh smelling fragrance to fragrance your house with and yourself, I highly recommend this orange blossom water. Comes This one comes in this, but any orange blossom water will work. Um, at Whole Foods and natural food stores, they should have it, or gourmet food stores. I uh, will see if I can find it on Amazon and put a link below. I'll see if I can, I'll find links for all this stuff on Amazon and put it below in the YouTube description. So go into YouTube and it'll be there. But I just think that's a really cool little fragrance thing and super inexpensive thing that you can do to kind of have a nice little fragrance around your house. And orange blossom is the smell of money. So we like that. I mean, you know, full aromatherapy wise. <laughs> So anyway, uh, that's all my favorite stuff that I buy from my beauty routine at the grocery store. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of the beauty series. Don't forget to subscribe for automatic updates on when I post new videos. I try to do them every day. Like this video if you want more beauty, and then also subscribe or go check out my Instagram at Sally Lindley, and then also my Snapchat at Sally Lindley. So love you guys. Thanks for watching. Check you later.